When people think their house is haunted and they contact me, it's, I have a, a methodology that I have to go through, asking them what's going on, how long it's been happening, what are the signs that they're seeing in their house. It's, it's really hard to say if a place is haunted or not. What's crazy is that you have this room down here where you have all of this loss of life, and then like right down here, you have all of this life being created. We talk about dying, you'll hear, hear people say like, oh, you're going home. There's already this preconceived notion that where when we die, we're going back to the place where we originated from. A lot of people don't pay attention until night comes to the sounds that their houses make. They don't realize that the furnace kicks on at a certain time every day or that the water heater turns on at a certain time every day. People can make great strides in, in seeing if, whether this is normal phenomena or something strange happening in their house. A really good thing that I tell people to do is when they have an experience that they think has to do with a ghost, write it down immediately in as much detail as possible and then seal it in an envelope and don't think about it again for about a month or two months. Rewrite the story after two months and then open the original story and look and compare the two and see how they've changed it in their mind. And they'll see that they've added and subtracted elements to the original story. That's just the nature of us as humans. We're storytellers and our memories don't get better over time. Can you tell me your name? I think I've told people that have come to my lectures, they say that they had an experience when they were nine. And I've said, have you ever written it down? And they say, no. And I said, well, you need to now. Even though it's 30 years later, your memory is going to be better when you write it down today than it's going to be if you write it down 10 years from now or 20 years from now. A lot of people who think their house is haunted, they will often point to their dog or their cat reacting in a strange way that, uh, you know, my dog looks at something, my cat meows and runs under the bed. And what people forget is that dogs can hear up to two and a half miles away and cats are a little better at three miles and they're hearing in different frequency ranges than we hear at. My cat used to run around my house and I thought that he was freaking out at some weird energy that was there. And only after writing it down and keeping track of the times that it was happening did I realize that he was reacting to a delivery truck that was about a quarter of a mile away from my house. I wasn't hearing it, but he was hearing the, the diesel engine on the truck rattle. I think that if people actually paid as much attention to what's going on around them, they would notice not how haunted the world is, but how weird the world is.